my idea. Your ideal, ideal date. date. Um, <laughs> well, I like someone who can surprise me. Um, you know, like I, as I said before, I have the ability, the habit to analyze everything and to sort of try to figure out what's going to happen next. And you know, like a lot of the time, I'm proven right. And I don't necessarily like that, you know? And uh, this is funny because like most people like to be proven right, but you know, like I have a scientific mentality, so I like to be proven wrong, and that's difficult to understand. But when you're proven wrong, like it means that whatever theory you were believing in before is now being confuted. So you have access to a higher level of knowledge, right? I was wrong before, but I'm right now, so who cares if I was wrong before? So I like I know that this shouldn't apply to like your personal life. But in a way, it's the same feeling, you know? It's like, oh, I didn't expect her to say that, or oh, I didn't expect, you know, like, whoever you meet. And, you know, it's, it's a positive feeling. So you need to have a few tricks up your sleeves if you're gonna go on a date with Pietro Mosselli. Do you have any more questions? I have another, one, another question. So if you're someone who is um, good-looking, intelligent, great body, do you, do you still have insecurities? Do you, like, uh, you still get insecure? If I still have insecurities, I don't know. Like I feel pretty confident about myself, and uh, <laughs> usually I don't sit there and just uh, contemplate, you know, what's wrong with me. I just you, you, you grew up, grew up like this, or like have you always? Been in no, I guess well? in a way, in a way, like you know, I say I'm confident. And I'm sure I am, but in a way, there must be some level of there must be something that drives you to always be better. And, uh, that is essentially a lack of self-complacency, you know, I never sit there and it's like, oh, I'm happy with myself. Like, you know, like, I train and I've never, well, I check myself out in the mirror, like, oh, dude, yes, that's, you know, I always think, no, like, I need to, like, work on this, like, you know, like, I go to the gym and I lift 100, I want to lift 120, I'm never like, oh, dude, that's amazing, 100, you know, and it's the same with, like, uh, with everything else that I do, um, you know, like, with academia, it's like, oh, I know this now, that's enough, you know, I've learned enough. No, I always want to do more. And I guess that's essentially, if you analyze it deeper, it is a, something that drives you, but it's, you know, it's, yeah, you always have to funnel any feeling that you have into something positive. So if you have an insecurity about yourself, you shouldn't funnel that negative energy into like demoralizing yourself more. Oh, okay, I, I now found out what's, what's wrong with me. So I can improve on that. So you should be happy about it. Not, oh, that's wrong with me that I suck. I'm going to go into the corner. Thank you. Thank you. So you always keep yourself busy for the next steps, right? Instead of like think, overthinking of yes, whatever you lack. Yeah.